Hello people, uh, this is Mark from Softwash UK. Now this video is going to be for all the people out there that aren't familiar with soft washing, are not familiar with how to make a soft wash recipe and need some support regards to how to go about that in regards to mixology basically, which is the procedure of mixing chemical uh, with water and surfactant to make up a recipe of soft wash. Now, there are lots of people out there that do know how to do this, um, but this is for people who need a bit of a help in regards to uh, that type of procedure. And so here's an app for you, which you can download from the Apple Store. It's only available on Apple at the moment, and there will be a link for you to click on to download should you wish. You can also download this onto uh, an old Apple device as well. It goes back to generation four. So for instance, if you haven't got an Apple phone or an Apple device, you can go on eBay and type in Apple iPad, no, Apple iPod Touch Generation 4, and you can pick them up pretty much for about 25 to 30 pounds, and you can then install the app onto that and have it as a dedicated soft wash calculator app where you chuck it in your glove compartment. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration First of all, you can see the screen. Now, there's nothing much happening at the moment, but I want to talk to you about the figures where it says 7.3, 265, and 50. You can see they're color coded, uh, blue, sort of brown, and black. That is where your recipe will come up, okay? Your actual final recipe amounts, okay? Then you've got it liters to US gallons, and you tap each one to get that. You've got new mix, remix. Just below there as well, you've got the clever injector settings, so it will tell you what to set the clever injector to do based on using the setting microphone at 15%. Also at the top, you've got volume, chemical, and you've got a ratio there as well, and the final mix percentage. So I'm just gonna click sweet, let me begin. And that opens up the new window. Now, let's start off. First of all, if you look at volume water, you can see that it goes seven, eight, nine, ten. That goes to, I don't know, an awful lot. You can scroll through, where does it go up to? A thousand liters, okay? Um, also, the, the line next door, chemical strength, it goes all the way down to what, uh, four, right the way through to 50. So if you're using DDAC, for instance, uh, a biocide, you know, that sort of thing, um, or our Softwash Pro 50, you can set it to that. Um, also, you then have uh, the uh, pre-selected percentage wheel, okay? So if you're doing slabs, it comes up with a 4% mix to the right and if you're doing uh, render k okay, ren it's dropped down to a two percent mix now also you can override that mix by manually overriding it okay like so and so let's uh, start off with uh, we want a 200 liter tank okay and uh, we've got sodium hypochlorite at 15 percent and we want to clean a um i don't know a uh, let's have a look uh, shingle glazed uh, double glazed roof, roof tile at four percent okay so we're doing to do a roof so it's suggesting a four percent automatically we can manually override that if we wish or even make it lower if we wish okay um, so it's suggesting a four percent and as I'm doing that if I just move that to five watch the figures where it says water chemical and surfactant okay so if I go five now watch what happens it automatically adjusts it for you so to get a uh, a four percent mix a 200 liters recipe tank you would be looking at 145.93 liters of water uh, 53 liters of sodium hypochlorite and a thousand liters or uh, milliliters of uh, clever wash surfactant okay uh, now let's say if you're in the us we just hit the us gallon now as you can see there's nothing there if i just move one of the link wheels it will immediately populate that to us gallons uh, for our cousins in america all right so let's go back to liters i'm just going to repopulate that back so let's say now you've made up your mix you've gone and done your roof clean and you want to uh, make another mix up of a different percentage so let's say we want to do k-ren cleaning for instance so we've just finished the roof clean job and we're on to a k-ren cleaning job and we know that we've got uh, own, uh, about 80 liters of soft wash recipe left in a tank okay hang on let's start again so we've got 200 liters and we want to do a rework so here we go rework i have this left over in the tank so let's go we have 200 liters so we're now dropping down we've got 80 liters of uh four percent roof recipe in the tank okay uh, now click on this 
um, which allows, it tells you what you've got, okay, or what you had. And we now know we want to do a K rend. So we scroll down to K rend, okay, which will be here somewhere. There we go, render. It's suggesting a 2% mix, okay. Um, that would seem fine. It's a nice warm day and it's, not, it's only green algae, and so that will come off really easy. So that's fine, but we know we're going to need probably 100 litres, or let no, we want to bring it back up to two because we've got a K rend clean tomorrow as well, 200 litres. So if we move this now to two back to 200, and it tells us that we need to put 103 litres of water into the tank, another 15.9 litres of sodium hypochlorite, and a 600 ml of clever wash surfactant. And so that's how you do a remix. And again, US gallons, just populate the wheel, etc., like that, and it will do that for you as well. Okay, so I'm just going to just back there. And that's it. And then, of course, if you want to do a new mix, you just hit the new mix button and then it resets the whole thing. So from the top, we've got slabs, concrete, uh, block driveway, pavers, flagstones, Indian sandstone, brick, roof tile, roof glazed tile roof, shingle roofs, American term shingles, pool decks, that's just basically round swimming pools, stained UPVC, that's really badly stained UPVC, um, steel cladding, that's basically industrial type of buildings, etc. Uh, drive it, um, again, that's very much like uh, K Rend. Cedar shakes, that's wooden t uh, tiles to uh, us guys in England, um, or UK rather. Uh, fencing, wooden screen enclosures, that's an American term. Durable painted, that's like a really strong painted surface. Vinyl sidings is exactly what it is, it's an American term. Stocco, that's like K Rend. K Rend, obviously render. Asphalt, that's tarmac over here. Faces and gutters, eaves and soffits. Uh, timber decking, original painted, uh, so that's really light, light work painted. Fragile surfaces and light staining. Okay, so. I hope that explains everything to you. If you'd like to know more, then please click on the link below, uh, which will take you to the App Store. If you've already got this and you want to leave a review on the App Store, that would be greatly appreciated. We've got over, what was the last count? We've got over 200 people using the app at the moment, currently in the US and in America, and we've had really good feedback with it. I've been meaning to do a video like this for quite some time now, um, but unfortunately, Apple don't let you do screen capture recordings. However, we've managed to find a way of doing it now, so hence the reason why I'm posting the video today. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, please be kind, you know, and uh, leave some comments below. Many thanks, bye-bye for now.